This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple, me. What well, going my people? Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. I hope you're looking on the screen, people. I hope you're all looking on the screen and take a moment of your time and look on the screen and look on that person. There. So, it is alleged. Yes, I can use the word. I am borrowing the word for a second. Because you know when Jamaica people say, and I say no, it's something either it goes so or it's close to so. You see that brother there, we are sure right now. Them say him responsible for mint ball. Remember mint ball you talk about yesterday? They must say him give mint ball the spliff and the drinking and the bag or something. But me still I say, only just I show the picture we want to no push him out. Brother, if I know you push out yourself at the station fast, fast, fast. But if it's you, nobody feel like you alone for come. Bring mint bring, ball, mum and pupa too. Yeah, along with yourself. Because three hours now go face some time. Hard labor. Police them first locking up and carry mint ball because we have put mint ball in our homes which party in Milan. We don't want to know, have it for say the government feel mint ball. No. The government are lined up a nice bed for him. You know one of them boys home there. SOS are one of them children village. Really. Yeah, man. We are take mint ball and put him in a state care from now. So just line up yourself, line up mint ball and make put him in the party in Milan. Couple Sundays ago, me they read the news at Tuna and me they come come break it. So right now, me I give you an update. Twenty-five year old Gavin Guard of Bridgeport Saint Catherine has been charged with the August 9th killing of twenty-seven year old Ricardo Robbins, otherwise called Raza Ababa of Brayton Portmore in Saint Catherine. Garden was positively identified on an identification parade as a shooter. He is charged with murder and illegal possession of firearm. Reports from the Bridgeport Police are that at about 11.15 a.m. Robinson was sitting on a stool at his business establishment on Port Ennis Plaza in Portmore when Gordon, armed with a gun, approached and opened fire, hitting him in his upper body. The barber fell from the third floor of the plaza and was assisted to the hospital when he was pronounced dead. Gordon was subsequently charged on Monday, September 24. People remember the whole of that story, so only can just go look you understand back in the video they want to see so i mean they chew it up and you can't see what i go on i mean i want to feel like say, i just update what i go on this is jamaica where every day something happen every day yes every day somebody did that every day and next gone fine 36 year old glendon white a labor of islington st mary was yesterday charged with wounding with intent illegal possession of firearm and illegal possession of ammunition following an incident on primento hill road in the parish on sunday september 6. reports from the islington police are that the complainant was driving his motorcycle on primento hill road when he was attacked by white who brandished an handgun and fired a shot in his direction hit him in his leg the complainant managed to escape and alert the police white was later apprehended the court date is being finalized so hold on you know so hold on everybody these days just have gone just to do with them please and people always are come come say blame the politician them because i politician they bring in the machine but no 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 if the politician they may bring in some machine and give some man at the 80s and some man at the 40s well, they know say them go they're not still about so some new machine them this all them man they get them machine and they tell me the man which part of the trade are going so the police them can just find them and stop them trade they understand because people don't know enough no for all you know and uh, keep it quiet Quiet, but guess what? You see when this thing it phone the doorstep and goes and knock. I wanna phone the family drop out at them time they're not gonna want come come talk. But too late shall be some amount of cry. One man has been arrested and charged with two offenses following an incident in New Hope, Chilani on Tuesday, September 8th. Charged with shooting with intent and illegal possession of firearm and ammunition is 25-year-old Ruan Bailey. Otherwise called Jim reports from the police that at about 7 p.m. the complainant was on his way home when he saw Bailey pulled a firearm from his waistband and proceed in his direction. The complainant ran in the bush and Bailey allegedly fired several yes people several shots in his direction a report was made to the police and bail was apprehended and charged monday september 21st so that are the part of the news that they want on the ear people they don't want to tell you the rest because even if ruan bailey yeah 25 year old ruan bailey who have an illegal gun see a man and attack him 
He's more some him and this man you have. Probably this man left film gun, you know. I never have film gun that day when Bailey ran at him, you know. Because Bailey just now nah, go see you, so. You understand? Bailey, yeah, 25 years old, Ruan Bailey. Now nah, go just see you and just watch, you know. I take up my gun and go for the brother there, you know, because you know, so I like him, stand up on the bus stop by himself and look. So, you yeah, tell we say, I that barely do. No, man, you need to tell me the truth. I that barely do. Were you involved in a wife? Barely want dirt you. You're going like, to take big people for fool sometime, you know. Oh, no, can't check we. Man who was wanted by the Westmoreland police for shooting with intent and legal possession of firearm was arrested during an operation in St. Anne on Saturday. September 19th. So this is the criminal them are migrate to. The criminal them are take bus and think of playing them are take and just a move from a little parish to a next parish. Like them feel say them not gonna get catch. He is 28 year old Ainsley Woodburn, Cambridge St. James. Reports coming from the Belton police station that on September 2nd at about 11.53 a.m. Woodburn allegedly went to the complainant's home on Marchmont Road in Westmoreland and opened gunfire at him. The complainant managed to escape on earth a warrant for the incident was executed on woodburn on monday september 21st and he was charged he was charged for the offenses his court date is being finalized so people like me are telling you every day is a next story yeah man every day is a next story and you know sometimes we not get the story them the same time but we don't need to worry you know people because me i go tell you see yesterday we had a bloody when we say a bloody Tuesday, a bloody Tuesday till all the month of people will drop out. We all miss, we all miss some hype on the new but we know say once we miss it, we are gonna come back home tell no we go on because and I just each and old lady we are talking about. We are talking about everybody. We are bring the news cause we depend on the ground. How we are the ground news, you know? And that we tell the people them from the ones so watch on the news and the one the real thing when I come on the news them. Just come come link with. We are gonna make you know where go on. You understand? We over us over my view TV are gonna make you know where go on. As me say yesterday. We had a bloody, 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 bloody Tuesday, people. I may be honest with you, because a whole heap of people drop out, and a whole heap of people get caught, and a bag of people attack, a bag of things that we don't know how to go. But, I may not know where to go on. Because, 21-year-old Akeem Howard was shot and killed by unknown assailant in Maypen, Clarendon, yesterday. According to the police, resident heard explosion at about 10.18, at 18 minutes past 10, and alert the police. When they arrived, Howard body was seen lying on the road, with gunshot wound to the upper body. He was taken to the hospital, Hospital, we was pronounced dead. Me dead from them giving me shots there from them pick up on the road, but you don't know say them care really pronounce dead body on the road. So them have care the hospital just right to the farm the proper procedures. But you may drop out from them time the people. May I tell you, you know, come like no way not safe. People them say turn their yard and them something there, but all in there yard man them come full and see me. Sometimes you know when I get myself involved in I know, but you can't say me over here now tell them to say be careful now watch you now do. But anyway. Who have years here, let them hear. Carry a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend so far. We don't come, come join the nation. Because people over here get packed up now. Over here get packed up now because we are reading the real news. We are telling the one who come for the news. The local part of them put, and them put the full stop on the dash. But no, no, no. We just open my bracket and we just talk. I mean, the people them know where I go on.